What's up to everybody? Marino from Marino's Mysteries here again. And today we're going to be cooking us some Slumgullion. Uh, you may be asking what Slumgullion is? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned just to see. Now, in a previous video, you've seen me cut onions without any tears and put them in plastic bags and freeze them. That's what I got here. And through the magic of television, I have already gotten my uh, uh, Slumgullion pan out here. And I've put some saved bacon grease in it. And that's all nice and melty. And I'm going to put the onions in. Now, the onions are a little bit froze. So... We have to warm them up and put a little bit of a caramelization on them. Not much, but just a little bit. And that's going to take a little while because we don't want to have the heat up too high on this because they are going to burn so probably at a medium now how many onion well if you watch the previous video you'll see that I just took a bunch of small onions and cut them up and put them in a freezer bag so I'd say this is about a half a cup to a cup um, probably more like a half a cup of frozen onions they'll reduce down a little bit as I'm cooking them uh, you're gonna find out that I like gadgets uh, I'm kinda known as the gadget man around here because I have pasta makers, and I have magic ovens, and I have magic pressure cookers, and I have magic hot dog rollers, and I have uh, a nice pasta cooker here, and as you can see, it's a easy straining one. I'm going to cook up the uh, water a little bit early just so that um, it comes to a good boil and I like it uh, I like the water to be boiled a little bit although I'm going to tell you I uh, don't like the way the water tastes here so I have a filter on the faucet and I also filter the water in a water picture. So all of the water that I use is uh, filtered. And it's about as clean and good as you can get. And, um, I, you know, that's, that's the way it is. So I can hear my onion sizzling. And I feel no more chunks. So, they thawed out, and, hey, look, this time I'm going to turn on the, now, not the fan, the, the, uh, the brake thing, the light, and, uh, we're just cooking, cooking the onions, you can't really see too much from back there, but you people need to stay out of my way, when I'm in, the place cooking. Um, now something that I learned a long time ago is you want to season each item. And so we're going to throw some salt in there to season the onions. And oh man, <clears throat> these are uh, these are potent onions. Uh, I didn't cut crying them. I, I didn't 
cry. I didn't, yes, that's right. Is that right? Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I didn't cry cutting them up, but uh, if I hold my head over this pot, uh, I'm going to cry cooking them. Wow. Hope. But I've got a nice layer of bacon grease in there, so those are going to smell really good. Now, you may be asking, hey, Marino, what do you got over there? Well, over here, I have my magic oven. I have not used this oven since I got here. Never used it. I store stuff in it, and that's it. I have a magic oven. I've had a couple of different models. This one seems to be the best one. It's the one with the glass bowl. You can put frozen things in there. And they'll still be done in half the time as regular oven. It really doesn't take any preheating. Uh, it's great for cooking bacon. And, uh, well, other stuff. Uh, so what do I have in here? Well, let me see if I can show you. I'll, uh, I'll take the phone off my pod and I'll show you I have Italian sausage can you see there it is the Italian sausage comes from a couple of different places that's why it looks different some of the Italian sausage is uh, a hot Italian sausage, which isn't really hot, but it, I'll let them think it's hot. And uh, the other one has some garlic and cheese in it. Not, you know, not a lot, but enough. Um, and we'll be cooking that up here pretty soon. Now, I've uh, made sauce. Now, when you, when you think about Maine, you think about lobsters, red hot dogs, and scrapple. <laughs> soon you're going to, soon... In a couple of days, when the tides are just right, I'm going to do a catch, clean, and cook on periwinkles. <laughs> and soon you'll be thinking periwinkles when you think of Maine. But besides the bears and the other things, we have a very short growing season. So when the tomatoes are ripe, that's it. You get them, and that's it. Boom. Done. That's it. So, you, you get bushels and bushels of uh, tomatoes, and you cook them all up, and you make sauce. And again, I put sauce in, in the freezer bags. And keep it for times like this. Okay, these are getting a little bit of color on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mushrooms. How many mushrooms? Well, how about a can of mushrooms? And here's an easy way to chop up mushrooms. Okay. No mess. No fuss. Mushrooms. Ta-da! So, my God, why are you using mushrooms in a can? Well, because mushrooms, I have tried all kinds of them. 
I've gone out um, and for foraged for mushrooms, and what I find is that I I just don't get a nice uniformed flavor like I get with the canned mushroom. Water it down a bit because it's boiling. And so if you want consistent, good tasting slum gullion, you're, you're going to want to get some canned mushrooms. I don't fault anybody for using, you know, real mushrooms, but, and these are real mushrooms. Uh, I'll be explaining what slum gullion is as you, as you watch me make it, but you may want to look it up. You don't, uh, don't ask me how to spell it, though. It's an old Italian curse. I mean, saying. Saying, not a curse, a saying. So, let's see. Let me see, yeah, okay. Um, I... Warmed the mushrooms and the onions up, and that's a you know one of those smaller cans of mushrooms. So now I'm going to get some hamburger, and we're going to add that now. What kind of hamburger? Well, for me, spaghetti or slum gullion is all about flavor. So, the hamburger that I like has got the most fat in it. And this would be a 73% hamburger. If I could find a 50% hamburger, I would use it. Because the fat is where a lot of the flavor comes from. I know it's not good for you, but we're making slum gullion. It's, uh, not too much of it is good for you. But it tastes good, and that's what's important. Some people call this frying the hamburger. I call it scramble. All the hamburger, I, I'm, I'm not a big hamburger patty kind of guy. If it was up to me, I'd have everything in the hamburger category scattered, uh, scrambled. But uh, I don't know. I, uh, I like it this way, probably mostly because I like well done food. I know, horrible, horrible. Uh, if I'm asked at a restaurant how I would like my meat cooked, I usually say, However you think, however the chef thinks it should be cooked, and usually that's a medium. Uh, however, if I'm, to be honest, I like mine extra well done. I often said, especially when I'd be cooking at the firehouse, um, that I wanted my hamburgers cooked crispy on one side, the inside. You put a char on a hamburger, oh, oh, I'll fall in love with you. You don't even have to wear high heels. So... Gonna get this browned up. Coming 
along nicely. And we'll let just add a little bit of salt to that. And we'll add some black pepper. And here is something that I consider magic. Montreal steak seasoning. That's a flavor that I like. Oodles and oodles. And we gotta mix this up. Uh, yeah, I know I'm not a big one on just letting stuff sit and cook. But this is a scrambled hamburger, so I think it's all right to keep it moving, and pretty soon you're going to see the sauce. Now, now's the time to turn the magic oven off, which is real simple to do. You put the handle down, that engages the power. You turn it on for about 16, 17 minutes on about 375. And like magic, that will be cooked. And then I'll show you a nice, unique way to Cut that up also to put in the slum gullion sauce. Huh? Pretty good, huh? Onions, mushrooms, salt, pepper. I don't really need the pepper uh, because the Montreal steak seasoning has a lot of different peppers in it. How much did I use? Oh, probably a tablespoon. Uh, cooking is not an exact science. Okay, this is looking gooder. Um, baking, however, baking is an exact science, and I try not to bake too much. Except I do like a cornbread with jalapenos in it. And I do make a mean Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas pumpkin cookie. And that is almost ready. Almost. So, <clears throat> here's my spaghetti sauce. Now you're going to say, wait a minute, Marino. That's not a can. That's a bag. That looks like you made that yourself. And yes, I did. And what happens is, you crush up the tomatoes like a madman. Then you puree the potatoes, uh, tomatoes, like a madman. And you add all of your spices, all of your cheeses, Make sure everything is filtered just right. And this way, you can freeze it. And when you need it, through the magic of a television, again, here it is. So, what 
do I put in my tomato sauce? You people ask an awful lot of questions. Who's cooking this? Me or you? All right, I'll tell you. I actually have it written down just so that I didn't miss anything. Um, I put, oh, very hot. Hold on. I'll turn that down because actually this just wants to be at a simmer. We're not actually cooking anything right now. Actually, I'm going to turn that right down to warm. This just needs to marry. <clears throat> it needs to all come together. And, okay. All right. Tomato sauce. This one I put some zucchini in it, green bell peppers, celery, of course onions, diced roasted, diced roasted, and when I mean roasted, I mean these tomatoes were very, very roasted. These tomatoes were very good, and they were very roasted. And I diced those up, put those in there. Uh, of course, tomato paste, and four different kinds of cheeses. Romano, Parmesan, um, Brigata. And mozzarella. How much? Oh, well, I've got about six cups of tomato sauce here. So um, you have to, with the cheeses especially, depending on how much you. You want the, the sauce to be the cheesy flavor. Um, that's up to you. What spices do I use? Garlic, oregano, salt, and crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper is very important because that gives it a nice tang. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, you might be asking, why am I using such a odd pan to be cooking this stuff in? Well, because I can cook this stuff in one pan. So, here we go. Um, and you'll see that everything is going to be combined into this pan before I put it into the individual servings. Um, and as you can see in my magic oven that the sausage is getting ready. So I'm just going to keep this moving a little bit. Now, ideally, I would let this cook, and then after I put the sausage in there, I would let it simmer for about an hour, and then let it rest. Shut all the gas off, shut all the electricity off, shut all the heat off, and just let it rest for... A couple hours anyway just until it's slightly warm and then bring it back up to a nice simmer before I put the 
the saw uh, the uh, noodles in there because that really gets everything soaked into each other and that's that's what we called Mary but I'm not going to do that with this one now yes uh, this this is a lot more expensive than a regular spaghetti. You can go and buy a, a can or a jar of spaghetti sauce, uh, heat it up. Uh, you can cook some noodles, about a dollar's worth of noodles, and you got spaghetti. Uh, I did, what, three, four dollars for a pound of hamburger, uh, onions are another dollar, uh, uh, the tomato sauce, okay, we'll say a dollar, uh, the, the, uh, paste, uh, all that stuff. What I'm going to make here in, in a pound of noodles, what I'm going to make here is about twenty dollars. So yeah, it's a lot more expensive, however, it's a lot more filling and a lot better tasting. Um, I think it's 3 o'clock, so MT Homestead is coming on for their Sunday happy, happy, joy, joy that they do. I want to taste that to see. Hot. Oh. Oh. I like them to have a nice little crust on them. Uh, I'm going to put the heat back on the water. And I'm going to have an adult beverage. Oh god, that's horrible. Oh. Best stuff on earth. Distinctively different. Oh, love it. Oh god, that's horrible. That spaghetti sauce all the way up there. Okay. I'm just having to wait for the sausages to be done. back to a boil. I'll cook some noodles.
right now it's just a waiting game. But I'm cooking for y'all. Been listening to you southern people too much. I've been wait. I've been I'm cooking for yous. So I'm gonna enjoy my moxie. But it's the best stuff on earth. I see the water moving in the boiling pot. I better get my other Get a stir out. Okay, I see the boiling going on. I lost you someplace. Um, I was just saying that the uh, film I made on film. I'm not a hundred years old. The um, yeah, you you kids in your fancy moving pictures. No. The uh, video I made on onions and cutting up onions um, came out pretty good. So you're going to have to watch that one and the video on Scrapple to figure out what Scrapple is. Um, I keep saying um because... Usually I just talk to myself when I'm cooking and I use bad words. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of things to say without using bad words. Are you still there? Yep, still there. You know, even I'm thinking this may be a lot of sausage. Now that I'm looking at it, but I just have a couple of them. This one is the garlic and cheese. And the bigger ones. This one are the hot. Now, they're not hot, hot. They're a medium hot. They call them hot. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now, how much do I have in here? Oh, boy. When this thing is full, it makes about six quarts. Uh, I would say with the noodles and everything, it'll, it'll be well into the six quart range and I'm I'm thinking it'll make between 12 and 15 servings uh, and of course my servings are like this uh, we get these from the soup kitchen to put our servings in I don't know how much this is uh, but it, it's a good serving for anybody and okay I'm going to let that sit for a little while and I'm going to make sure my noodles are nice and 
unstuck. I didn't shut that power off, did I? Nope. Let me give it a little bit more. See, everything I add to it is hot. The sausage is hot because I just cooked it. Uh, the noodles will be hot because I just cooked those. So this, this uh, sauce doesn't really need to be But, what I am going to do, because this is something that I forget to do a lot, is you want to, you want to spice your noodles while you're cooking them. Near the end. That's the best time to spice your noodles. Ah. Now, you may be saying, oh my god, you're using a lot of salt. No. How much salt should you use? Well, here's what you want to do. If you've ever drank seawater by mistake, like me, I, I went out and I used to swim out in the ocean. And when I was up north, yeah, you can't get further north than where I am. And you tend to swallow a lot of seawater, especially when you're cooking. You'll find that you have a tendency of tasting the seawater, um, especially if you're steaming or boiling clams. And you drink the, what they call clam juice, which is pretty much just the water that they were cooked in. And you cook them in seawater, very spicy. I mean, very salty. Oh, God, that's horribly good. So... Feeling a little bit saltier, softer. The salt is good. A lot of the water is gone. How much water I use? Oh, uh, probably six cups. Yeah, the, the salt is just perfect, and as you can see, a lot of that water is soaked in the noodles. They're almost al dente, and al dente is almost cooked. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, power off, power off. Okay. 
big holes. Now that whip. Oh. I know you probably want to see this. So, yeah. Hmm. All right, I'll do it from the other side. Got to hold the top. And four. And I want to leave a little bit of that water in there. I'm going to bring you back over here. Regular. Put the water to it right away. Another drink of moxie. And start stirring. Now, I can't believe you just added the noodles right to the sauce. Well, the reason for that is, I want all of the noodles to be covered in sauce. One of the things that I didn't like when I was growing up was to have angel hair pasta, regular spaghetti, noodles, not covered in sauce. A naked noodle is a bad day for everybody. And <coughs> this is why you put the noodles right in here. Now this is a little different than a traditional slumgullion because I don't add any carrots and I don't cook the green peppers with the hamburger to really roast those up like like that I think I I get a better green pepper flavor when I cook them in the sauce I do heat them up of course before I put them in the sauce but and there we go that That is Slumgullion. And remember I had keep everything in the oven. There's the top. I'm going to get a bowl, which is much more than a serving. That's about a serving and a half right there. And I put the top on. Actually, I'm going to push it down a little bit just to make sure that all the sauce close to the noodles as possible and as I'm doing this the noodles are finishing cooking and they're actually soaking up some of the sauce. Everything's off. 
light is off. And now we're going to sit down and have us some spaghetti. Slumgullion. So, here we are. About a half an hour into MT's live shout out on Sunday. I lost my moxie. I can't believe I lost my moxie. I can't believe I've lost my moxie. Well, probably because I had to open up the windows. It's like 70 degrees in here. Go check out his channel and see what he does to chicken, to pork, to goat, to so, you name it. He is here we go. so creative and he cooks authentic Jamaican dishes. Gonna have me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So, a couple of things, well, a lot of things you can do. We've, I've been watching his videos. Mm. He's got a lot of videos. A lot of videos. So mm. you can fill up your cookbook with a lot of his, his recipes. And oh. Things. Um, but he does a lot of DIY, DIY projects. He does everything on his house. He lays block. He lays concrete. Mm. He builds. He does tires. <clears throat> um, he green No, he did it all. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. So, I suggest turning on MT, right? Yeah. <laughs> Turn it on MT Homestead. If you're following along with the tutorial, have yourself a nice bowl of some gullion. <clears throat> Open up a diet moxie or a regular moxie if you have to have regular. And uh, enjoy your afternoon. So, this will be Marino from Marino's Mysteries signing out. Have a good day. <laughs>